Yo guys, what is going on? Tim Pesce, and welcome back to another video on my channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make an epic cartoon character like the one on the screen right now. Really, really cool. Uh, basically, it was inspired by a music video called You Don't Know Me, Jax Jones. And yeah, I thought I'd make it. And I'll show you guys how to make one today. It's really easy. I'll be doing it on Photoshop. So yeah, if this video can get 500 likes, that would be amazing, guys. Keep up with sick support my channel. Um, and basically, I've not really been uploading as much recently because I've had a lot of college work to do so yeah I'll try and get more videos out very soon and also because I've had two channels to work on um, but yeah more videos coming out very soon stay tuned for that comment down below what you actually want to see from me in my next tutorial or what you want to see in my other channel and yeah let's get straight into the tutorial right guys so we're here in Photoshop and now I'll show you guys how to make this right here so yeah, I did take inspiration from the music video Jax Jones, You Don't Know Me. It is a sick song guys, but yeah, really simple and you can do this in Photoshop or Illustrator, it's totally up to you. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to cut around this so we can like look at it and see what we need to do. So let's just do that. So now we're going to basically guys just follow along with what I do, uh, it's pretty simple stuff. It's just going to be using the pen tool really and the layers. So I've got that right there. So the first thing we're going to start off with is the... I think we'll start off with the, the legs to be honest. So yeah, add a new layer. And you can see like it's not straight, the leg right there, it like goes across. So let's just start off with the leg. Um, what we're, what we're going to be doing, we're not going to be creating like its own outline, we're just going to make the inside part and then we're going to go to the layer style and add a stroke, real simple stuff. So yeah, let's just do the leg first, something like this, and then um, it's not going to be the exact same obviously, but we can make a pretty good uh, replica, replica in the track. So we're going to do something like that, and then it comes down to about something like there, and then we're going to bring it across. So it's not that thick. Something like that. And then you want to kind of make it come down, because as you can see, the shoe, um, it curves round like that, so you don't want to, don't want to cut off straight like that. Or if you want it to see the part of the roof, so kind of bring it down something like this, and then press Alt and click so that it's a new straight line, and then follow it up. up. As I say, it is a lot easier in Illustrator, but to be honest, I use Photoshop a lot more, so I'm a lot better at Photoshop than I am at Illustrator. So something like this, and then we'll click over here. And then ring it, make a little curve, something like that. And then you want to fill that in with a colour. So for the legs, I think I might choose something else, maybe a dark colour. Okay. Could go for something like that to be honest. Let's try it out. And then what we're gonna do is just double click on the layer, go to stroke, make sure it is black. And a stroke, you can make it whatever you want. I think I'm going to go with 6 for this. Yeah, 6. And now you're going to add a new layer, and you want to bring it below the first leg, because as you can see, it's actually behind it there. So we're going to make the leg. So, something like this. You can make the legs look however you want. Once you've made one, and you want to make another one, you can do whatever you like. Style you want, you don't have to copy this. So I might do something like that. Okay. You want to make sure the legs are equal thickness. Like you don't want to get one massive leg and one small leg. That's what I. That's probably the hardest thing about this. Making sure everything is even. If it isn't, you can definitely just go over it really easily. Make a new one. So we're just gonna actually just copy the layer style and paste it on. So we've got a stroke. So that's that. Now we're gonna make the shoes pretty easy stuff. So we're gonna add a new layer. And we'll make the shoe. So we'll click right here. 
bring it down. You can make the shoe however you want. These shoes are pretty nice. So, So it's just following along guys, just follow along with what I do. So I made a straight line there on the curve. And I'm going to curve it round over here. And now I'm going to fill that in with um, a dark colour again. Maybe, maybe actually a red. See what that looks like. So that is the shoe. It's not the best of shoes. Obviously I've spent a lot more time on it if it was an actual design. <clears throat> now he's going to paste on the stroke. Bang, got the shoe right there. And as you can see, I've got a wide line to work across. So to add one of them, it's a great looking mask with a new layer. Go to the pen tool and then click up here, click over here and then drag. And then do the exact same on the other side. And then we're going to make a selection. Uh, I've just got white here, so I might as well just use that. Bang. Got the first shoe, and now all you've got to do is group all that together and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl G8. And then we're gonna bring it over here, rotate it. So, guys, if you do want me to give away this, then hit 500 likes, and I'll give away the one that I'm making right now. I might actually like redo it and then give it away. So, 500 likes, and I will give it away. Um, because at the moment the legs it might be a bit too long. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. I might make it a bit bigger this one. So yeah, new layer. Next thing you want it to be below. Yeah, below all of the different layers. You're gonna do the body itself. That is pretty easy. I'll bring it across so you can see it a lot better. So I'm just gonna click over here. And say about there. And then, it up a bit. and then it's kind of like a diagonal line. And then bring it down. Yeah, I'd say something like that. Nice fill path. And I think I'm going to choose dark red again. Maybe something like this. Out to nice and then paste on the stroke. Ooh, we've got that. And now we're going to work on the arms. So, the first arm over here will be over the top of all the different layers. So, let's do that one first. So, it starts about start over here. And then click over here and then drag to make that little curved shoulder thing. And then press Alt. And now we're gonna go grab this all the way over here and then we're gonna make a straight line so it's click and then we're gonna bring it back across like so in fact no let's redo that maybe something like this Fill that in with the red at the screw. Okay, so we've got that. It's not the best of arms again. I'm just doing this quickly. And now we're going to do the hand. So we're going to add a new layer and make sure it's below the arm. So something like this. Just bring it out over here. make a little indent because as you can see you want to make sure that the thumb is defined so you can see it
You can just copy that guys, something like that. So we're going to fill in the path. Oh no, we'll make sure it's the right colour. You can choose whatever skin tone you want. This is what I'm going to just go for though this time around. And now we're going to paste on the stroke again. And you can resize it as well if you don't think it's if you think it's too big or something. So we've got that. And now we're just gonna group together the arm and the hand. And we can duplicate it and then flip it round. Obviously like this is not the best because we need to bring it below everything. Okay, so we've got that now, it's really cool. Um, and now we're going to do the head. So first, this is probably the hardest part of the head. We want to do the neck first though. So I'm just going to group everything together so it's easier. So we've got the body. And now we're going to do the head. So the neck first. I'm going to click over here. And go up a little bit. And then go across. And then bring it back down. it's the same colour as the hands and then we can add a stroke so we've got the neck nice now we're gonna do the head so this is probably the hardest part we're gonna have to bring it a bit closer Okay, so the head, I'm going to start off with the chin, it probably won't be the exact same to be honest guys, but it'll be, it'll be similar. Okay, so for the head, I'm actually just going to go round this one right here. Save time, because it would take a lot longer. But it's basically the basic shape. Just curve it round. So basically it's just curving it, making it look nice. Fill that in, and now we've got that. We're gonna add the stroke. And oops, we'll add that on. You can literally you don't even have to do what I've done here. It's totally up to you. You can add a cap, maybe even a hat. I don't know. In fact, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the ear first. So let's just do that. We need to make sure the brush is at the, the, the same size as the stroke so about six pixels six pixels yep yeah. and then make sure the brush is black and it needs to be on hardness 100 so it'll look something like that so we're just going to do the year now somewhere like here and then curve it round and then put stroke, fill it in, and then you can duplicate it to make it more thicker. It's totally up to you guys. Something like this. I don't know, that's I'm just gonna keep it like that. That might even be a bit too thick, but yeah, you guys get the point. So now we are going to do the hair. And then just 
bring it round like so and fill it in. I think I'll just do black and then create copy mass. Make sure it's on the head, create copy mass, and boom, got that nice. So for facial features, that's pretty easy. You just gotta use the pen tool and do the strokes again. I'll put this in fast forward because you guys know how to do this. You just gotta use the pen tool, pen tool, and create a stroke. So let me just get that done. Right guys, so that is the end of the tutorial. It turned out all right, it's decent. You guys could probably do a better job than that. But yeah, it's just a cool cartoon character that you guys can use for like thumbnails, uh, even like banners and logos that just look really nice. And even animators can make it like move, it's just a bit cool. And yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video and if you did, make sure to hit the like button. If we hit 500 likes, I might give away this to one of you guys over on Twitter. So follow me over there if you guys want to keep updated on this giveaway. And yeah, I hope you're having a sick day today. I'll see you in the next video.